Hey everybody, James here, Jimmy Screens, Mr. Chiller. I just want to show you guys basically what this Reef Keeper program is all about. This is uh, Windows 8.1, by the way. Uh, this is my Reef Keep, my Reef 2.0. Uh, you've got to register and all that kind of stuff to get onto this thing. So the first thing you do. You're going to plug in this little gadget to the USB port. And then that's going to load this guy up. You got to give it a second. You'll see over here on the left side once it gets loading what it'll actually do here. All right, see now you can see that it's loading everything up, all the modules. All right, so basically. You would just go in here and you would click on a module. This happens to be the actual head unit itself, which gives you your temperature readings and all this kind of stuff. I've just kind of got it screwing around at the moment outside the tank to uh, test everything out. And that gives you a whole list of all your modules that are actually connected to everything here. All right, so that's one thing about it uh, PC one I don't have actually connected that's why you see errors right here so anything that's not actually connected is it shows errors see like right there SWE that temperature probe I don't use that part of this SL2 pH I don't use but I use the salinity probe so that's where that 35 PPT is at. alright and then uh, We'll just go to halides real quick. <clears throat> this is my halide lighting system. So what I will be doing, let's see if I can back up a little bit. As you come over here, you actually hit setup. And inside here, you can actually do all your timers and what have you. Let me see if I can move this in a little bit. So you can set all your timers up seven days a week. Get everything like you need it. If you want alarms for lighting and all that kind of stuff, then of course you would set your lightings. You gotta give it a name. This is the first ballast of the halides. And then from there you just come down and you press OK. And then it's just so forth and so on as far as that goes. Um, now one really cool thing is you guys know I've had this for a while now. And I've been having a really big issue with the actual internet, the net module, which we haven't been able to get connected. Well, let me exit out of this program now. Let me show you something. Let's see if you can see that right there. Digital Aquatics. Watch this. It loads up. It wants to ask for your password give it a second it's a little bit slow actually the password's locked in already check that out now my computer see this little cord disconnect this is only the my screen <laughs> this is only the power cord for my battery if you look around my laptop you see nothing else connected to my laptop I have finally figured this thing out to where I am able to do everything wirelessly. It took me, well, I've had this Reef Keeper for quite a while now. So, and it's been just issues with this thing, trying to get this thing set up. So, now you can see I can do everything online. It's loading up these channels right here. See all them channels? Now what I was showing you regarding the uh, lighting for instance, now I can go in here and communicate with the Reef Keeper like I was doing when it was connected to the computer but now everything's totally wireless. So like the highlights for instance I was in there, all you do is you would hit the edit function, it shows you exactly what's going on the on off auto I don't know if you can actually see that it's pretty light uh, no alarms being set up 
but so you can switch all this stuff to whatever you need to do on off auto uh, then up here is the control function determining what type of unit you're actually dealing with which in my case it would just be an on off setup in this system and then from that point you just go down make sure if you don't want your alarms set up you just press save and now that function is actually saved uh, one cool thing that I really dig about this is notification or my ad up here notification I can get any kind of alarms or anything from this thing to my email for anything that's going wrong with it once I set up the alarms so now everything is re it's configured <clears throat> thanks to Kish I really do appreciate your help with this email this was a pain in the butt it took us a while to get this thing down but I knew Kish would be the one to get it done for me and so it's just totally awesome uh, but networking everything is set up now and the funny thing is the reason that none of this was working it had nothing to do with my router nothing to do with the little netgear module that little guy right there had nothing to do with that nothing to do with that net box right there it had everything to do with this web page reason being is for some reason they've got this thing set up to where you've actually got to pull a BIN file out of the digital aquatics file in your actual computer here I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about you go to my documents and in here you're gonna find digital aquatics inside here you got to scroll down to what they're telling you to go to which happens to be the 024 file in here you grab up the latest update of the bin file and you would load that up to their web page and it updates their web page believe it or not so I went from a white blank page to a simple update and this is what I've got now I've got everything wireless and it immediately connected itself to the internet wirelessly and next gadget will be the telephone so but this is pretty awesome because it's on my laptop so I'm able to take my laptop and keep up totally with what's going on with this thing now so I just thought I would show you guys that if anybody's got any questions about how this thing works and whatnot please let me know I still don't have everything completely hooked up under my tank yet as you can see <coughs> so this is just the next phase all right guys Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.